We're just taking a break here. And Aunt Claire, we're using your water bowl. <laughs> For a hot dog. Just take a break, break, sweetie. Exerting yourself too much. You are. Putting too much effort in. Make yourself sick doing that. He's not like that. He says, no, I've been taking it easy. And not too much water because then you will be sick. Something's been munching this tree. Or clawing at it. I'd say somebody's been sharpening their nails on it. I said something over there, Dad. So the car's just on the other side of that hill. About a 20 minutes walker on the other side of that hill, at least. There's only something there, Dad. There's something there. I smell it. Why am I? What's that there? I said, Wolfie. Hey? She says, I don't know. But something's been here clawing at this tree. And we're walking away from the car now. We're walking along this bike trail trying to get back to the car. And now we're going away from the car. Great. Ah <laughs> oh dear. We could just go straight across. I think we might do that, they're a bit tired. They just go bush bashing across. There we have it, we're on the other side. We just followed a kangaroo trail. Started our own trail, but it only lasted oh, 10 feet and then we found a kangaroo trail. How do you know a kangaroo trail? It's not a straight level path. It's got high spots where they've been jumping. They're flat enough to walk through. Oh dear. And it starts to, it's not really raining, it's not sprinkling. It's just the clouds, it's just making it so moist. And it do. I make it really, really, really moist. I wonder how long it's going to take when he realises that he's not tethered to anybody. <laughs> he needs to be tethered. I just flopped right here. <laughs> oh dear. I think he's just realised it, worked it out. The big, big guy. So he's been off here. Last time, if you've seen one of my earlier videos, there are kangaroos around, so we got to be a little bit cautious, but she's still tethered. Still got her. So if he does go off, he won't, he won't go far without her. He'll realise that, oh, I don't have my sister. You can see how used to they are to walk together. What's the point of being off lead? There is none. He just walks with her anyway. <laughs> He loves his sister. His security blanket. And there's a car up there. Right in the distance. Oh dear. I think he's done. She's definitely done. And daddy's a bit tired too. We're all going to sleep well. You guys home. I think he's might smell the car. He stepped up the pace a little bit. Of course, 
technically I'm not allowed to have dogs off leash here, I wouldn't think, being a park. There's no signs that I saw that you can have a dog off leash. Probably signs saying that you have to have them on leash. Not anybody would really care. The farms around, most of them don't, and their fences are down after they haven't been used as a farm for such a long time. So the, the farm dogs would just be coming over here anyway. Chasing the kangaroos. <laughs> Don't you worry everybody, we made it back to the car. Oh dear, they all pooped. But we made it back. Oh, I'm done. Oh, uh, fog is still here. Still living in the clouds. Just on this little ravine here. This little spot between the two, two hills seems to escape all the fog. Interesting day. Oh, we'll see you everybody. Well, we're going to go to the pet shop, but that's not open for another half an hour. And we don't really need anything there. So we'll see you, everybody. Love you and leave you. Take care.